And it's, it looks like they can't hear me. <laughs> We're Beth, Eddie, and Natalie. And this school bus is our future tiny home on wheels. Follow along as we document the process of our bus build, the places that we visit, and everything that goes into life on the road. All right, it's day two of the bus build, and it is round two of Harbor Freight. Probably just Lowe's. Or Lowe's, somewhere. We're going somewhere for another tool. We went for a tool yesterday, and we're going for another tool today. So what are we going to buy? Uh, whole saw. A whole inch. saw? Yep. Not a half saw. An entire saw. We're buying an entire saw. Uh, not W-H-O-L-E. <laughs> A hole. Oh, okay, drills a hole. It makes holes, yeah. Okay, why can't you just use like the cutter outer that goes on the drill? The, where you can, don't you have one of those things that you can, an attachment you can put on the drill that cuts a hole? Yeah, that's what we're getting. It's a hole saw. Yeah. Oh, that, that bit is called a hole saw? Yeah. Okay, got it. Oh, the one we looked at last night that you were like, oh, we're gonna have to come and get that. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Daddy, she wants to do it again. All right, we're making progress, finally, on the tracks, the floor, for the seats. So we had, Eddie was under the bus holding a wrench, and I was drilling these out, but uh, some of them aren't working. They're kind of stripped or rusty or whatever, so you, you good over there? Yeah. <laughs> He's taking some deep breaths. He's working really hard, and it's hot. Hey, who decided to start a bus project in the middle of summer in Florida? You did. That was not me. That's me. That's really... It popped. So see it. It'll pop up. Oh, there it is. Want to touch that? Uh, nope. Give me, give me 10 bucks. Nope. I'll pass on that. Look, there's one of the tracks. Second one out. Nice. Two of a million. Yeah. I, didn't really how, I didn't count how many there actually are. Nailed it. Got one. Careful, it'll touch. It'll be hot. It was a little hot. We got a whole side. We did like a whole side. And there's only, you know, seven more. <laughs> we did the shortest side. Mm, yeah, shorter by like three bolts. Yeah, this one's a little longer, and then these are the longest. We did get out this little one. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, in the grand scheme of things, this is way faster than the other way they were doing. <laughs> they probably look ridiculous. All right, this is uh, episode one of Beth uses power tools all alone, and I'm surprised I can even hold the phone up right now. Honestly, I'm gonna put it right here because I have about no muscle energy left in this arm. So I was drilling out the um, bolts, screws, what are they even called that were in the tracks? So I did uh, one row of track all by myself while Eddie and Natalie went to go get dinner. And um, I am not someone who has used power tools for um, anything except for like screwing some stuff in. So this was a feat for me, pretty proud of myself and hot and tired and it's really satisfying but then also i'm afraid i'm gonna break my wrist because my arm gets tired and the drill starts to spin without me wanting it to so i might try another one i might start another one or i might take a break i'm gonna do another one No, I can't get that one. Abort mission. All right, keep going forward. Okay. There we go. I got it. Okay. 
All right, well, we finally got the last seat out, except for the driver's seat, of course. They're all out, and we've been, oh, hi. And we've been pulling up the tracks. We have just these last few ones left, finally. But anyways, up here, we found a hidden little gem. Someone named Alex Hoover. We have your picture. This is, like, really precious. I feel like as a mom, I would totally want this picture of my child. Sure. It was, um, it was, was it here? Inside there. It was in here? Oh, it was inside here. Behind the It was like shoved in there. All right, the first floor panel is up. So this is the extent of our rust. You know when people are like filming natural disasters instead of like helping people? That's how I feel right now. <laughs> like I could get over there and help you do it, but instead I'm just gonna watch you and record it. That's what you said actually yesterday. We're taking off the walls. He's taking an angle grinder and grinding off the, what are they called, rivets? Yeah. The rivets with the angle grinder. And this is not, uh... and it's, it looks like, they can't hear me. <laughs> our neighbors are doing yard work today and uh, we still haven't talked to them about how we have a school bus in our backyard. Uh, don't know what they're thinking, but you know, to be honest, it's the, a little bit awkward being at the beginning of the journey and like people don't know what's going on here. It's real life. It's looking like pretty quick. How the labor cost? It's not that bad. Um, the aluminum rivets come off like really quickly, like a couple seconds, but then you got these like steel rivets here in here. There's only in some places that they're there. There's still aluminum here. Uh, these take a little bit longer and there's a lot more of them. So but yeah, you just grind them off and then uh, peel off the... I would say that you've been out here for probably like half an hour. So like probably the whole thing in like two hours. Probably. I mean, we it's always hot. we always kind of underestimate how long it's going to take. We're like, oh yeah, it'll take, a, it'll take a month. That's basically what happened with the floor though. Like we thought it would be, be like a week and it was a month. Cause it's hot in Florida and you know, you can't work every day. You're doing great. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Another blade down. I guess I should probably have kept track, but. It's probably three. Wanna throw that again? I didn't get it in the shot. Okay, so away from the bus a minute so I could talk to you about uh, the progress and what we're working on today. So Eddie is using the angle grinder to get those um, rivets off of the walls. We can rip all the walls off today. And um, we've got all the insulation out of those upper panels. <clears throat> and of course, once we get those wall panels out, we're ripping all that insulation out. And we're still not quite decided on what we're gonna do with the ceiling um, because our original plan was that we were gonna leave it up. And then we keep going back and forth of maybe taking it down and putting some better insulation in. We still haven't decided, so stay tuned to find out what we do there. Um, but we have all the floors ripped up, and um, after we get all these wall panels off, and once we get the handicap lift out, which we're doing um, 
probably next weekend with the help of Eddie's dad, then we can finish that little corner of it. That's the only part we haven't done yet. Uh, then we'll get to work on the rust and painting the floors and putting some um, wood down on there. And we're really excited to get to that stuff um, for it to finally be something we're putting in instead of it just being stuff we're taking out. But of course, you know, all the progress feels good. Here we go, bus update. We have this wall off, we have the floors removed, we have this wall still to do. Remove a portion of the ceiling, get all the insulation out. And yeah, so now um, I'm gonna be working on removing this wall, all the insulation out of there. We're still debating whether or not we want to remove the ceiling. I kind of do, but uh, it's gonna be a lot of work and we have to start grinding the surface rust. It's really not that bad, it's not that rusty. We lucked out, this is like the part of the bus that is probably the worst. And I believe most of this is just gonna come right off with the, uh, the grinder. So that's the update for now. And uh, yeah, we'll pick this up next time. Stay tuned for the next update where we take you through the process of rust removal and finally getting the floor painted. Like this video and comment below with any questions and don't forget to follow for more.